May 7th of this year, I installed one of the first GeoDrops soil moisture sensors right here in my front yard. And today is August 7th, exactly three months after I installed the sensor. And I'm really happy to report that the sensor has held up very, very well. It appears to be a very durable sensor. The construction's really good. It hasn't corroded at all. The plastic hasn't faded in the sunshine. And I'm really happy to say that the Wi-Fi connection is also really strong. And I think what I'd like to do today is just give you a close look on what it looks like in the ground after three months of installation. We'll pull it out and then we'll take a look at a couple of the charts. I'm going to use this long handled screwdriver to put between the probes and lift the sensor out of the soil. It's got a good lock on the soil right now. You can see the top of the sensor has really held up well. It almost looks like it's still brand new after three months. So what I'm going to do is put this between probes, pull it out. It's got a really good lock on the soil. And let's take a look. Blades are in really good condition. There was really actually no scuff marks when inserting it. They're not broken, they're not bent. Held up very, very well. Let's open the GeoDrops app and take a quick look. The first screen, you see your sensor accuracy. And look, it says bad. And that's because I simply put it directly back in the hole that I removed it from. And what I should do is reinstall it per the directions once again. Then on chart, this is where things get really fun. You can look at the data over a one week period, two week period, or four week period. And you can even click on it to interact. And with these spikes, you can see either my watering pattern or rain or both. It's just showing you moisture going up and moisture going down due to water being applied to the landscape. You can see it scales from my yard anywhere from about 15% in the shallow root driest area all the way up to 100% wet here on the deepest area. Surface temperature is also really neat to see. Uh, you can see that here on August 6, we had a cool spell. That was a chillier day. And you can flip over and look at a two week period while it loads. And then you can look over a four week period for the past month. And you can see that, uh, let's say in mid July, the soil was maintained its moisture a little bit more. So what I would expect is that if I looked at the weather, I'd see that there was a little more rain and it was a little cooler. And then here towards the end of July, the temperatures went up and I was not able to maintain moisture as well in the soil. That my friends is my three month update. Good luck with your geo drops and happy sprinkling.